Hello everybody, John Abella coming at you on a with a third video on safer fuel sources. And this video is going to be on boil times. This is not something that is usually a big issue when you're actually out on the trail. However, people still like that benchmark and you know the industry uses a, a two cup or 475 milliliter uh, benchmark so we're going to use Swiss fire gel some hand sanitizer and if I feel the ambition to have a, a further baseline I will use some heat as well for both the Swiss fire gel and hand sanitizer I will use the um, flat cat gear multi fuel stove just so that things stay consistent and I will also be using the Vargo titanium uh, bot 700 uh, which obviously is a 700 milliliter cup but I have it filled to uh, just under uh, the 500 mark you might be able to see that in there so close enough to the 475 two cup mark. I apologize I'm walking in and out of the light here. It just happens to be the way the direction of my windows are in my kitchen. So let's go ahead and start with the Swiss fire gel. And in between each video, I'm gonna let the, the stove cool off, the pot cool off, uh, dump the water out, put, put in some, um, some cold water and all that good stuff just to keep things going. And again, this is just a, a, a benchmark video for those of you that are curious about the differences between um, boil times for those of you who care. Let that stove top heat up just a little bit. That particular stove doesn't need, to, need a lot of heat, but this is a cold pot. And I don't have a timer here, so I'm just going to look at the clock. All right, so I'm at 2 minutes 35 seconds. And nobody wants to watch water boil, so I'll just cut off all of this out of the video. Uh, the important part is it, it, where it started at and then where it boiled at, and I'll cut back in for that. All right, we're at a 12... 30, 1235, and we got a, a boil there. So All right, next up is hand sanitizer, and I am using just some unknown name brand hand sanitizer. It is, let me just make sure, uh, yep, 70% ethanol alcohol. Compared to Swiss, which is 80% ethanol. Okay, let's, let's do this. Again, we have the same amount of water. The pot and water has been cooled off for about 20 minutes along with the stove. And on it goes. Yep, fuel burned out. Um, so it didn't get a hard boil, but it did get two uh, shrimp eyes, you know, which is uh, more, than, more than enough. Uh, I think that was around the 11 minute mark, so call that uh, 11, 11 and a half minutes. So if I would have put enough um, hand sanitizer in there to actually bring it to a boil, my guess is it would have been around the 12 minute mark.
Okay, next thing up is Esbit, and I will be using four gram Esbit tablets, not the big 14 gram Esbit, because I only use 14, I only use the four gram Esbits. Uh, so yeah, and I'm gonna put it in this here little, this is a um, small coffee can that I've cut down. And I'm gonna put them in there just so that I don't get Esbit goop all over my stove top here. And I really have no idea how many it's going to take to um, bring it up to a boil in this pot because I've never tried this before with this particular pot. So I'm probably going to have to overshoot here, and uh, I'm going to put I'm going to put four tablets in there, which will be uh, four times three is twelve. So hopefully this um, is going to be enough. All right, Esbit is lit. Don't need to worry about any pre-burning or anything with Esbit. So there we go, and we are at 210. All right, we have a soft boil. And we are at 19 minutes. Okay, up next, I am going to do some heat, which I have here in this bottle. And I'm going to pull my, I have two different alcohol stoves. Actually, I have a bunch, but uh, these are the two that probably most people know. Uh, the Zelf stove, and that's uh, the one with the, um, uh, the carbon felt that's inside there. And then the Mini Bowl Design Elite stove. Uh, which I happen to feel is probably one of the finest alcohol stoves on the market. Uh, this, of course, is probably the s one of the safest alcohol stoves on the market. Um, you know, there's there's a good chance that the Mini Bull Design Mini Atomic or Atomic, which is a pressurized alcohol stove uh, that has a wing nut on top, that that very likely is is safer than this in some ways, um, especially if 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 there's if it's a mini atomic with carbon felt inside, that would be super, super safe uh, in the world of alcohol stoves. But still, you know, heat is, as I've made a point in this entire video series, uh, is, is not the safest one out there. Um, I have a pot. You know, the nice thing about this is, is you don't need a pot stand. With this thing you do. So I'm actually going to pull my, my, my stand out of my normal cook kit here. This is... This is my cook kit that goes with me on most of my hikes. Uh, this is a custom made cup by Zelf or Dan over at Wood Gas Stoves. Um, then a, a little aluminum foil for a lid. The um, This is a light trail or trail light. I'm not sure which, I can never remember which which way it was, but uh, this is his very first windscreen, super light windscreen. And then uh, my my wire pot stand. And um, all right, let's fill this up. And again, the same amount of water. And there we go, and we are at two, uh, yeah, right at three minutes. All right, we have a soft boil, and we're at 11 minutes. All right, everybody, so I hope that, that this brief video here is able to answer the questions out there on how long do these different fuel types take to boil the standard two cups of water, you know, 472, 475 milliliters of water. Uh, I did use an extra large stove on purpose 
uh, meaning it is, you know, higher volume stove than the two cups of water uh, level. And that was done on purpose uh, because most people out on the trail end up having a bigger cup or pot, uh, in as in this case, than how much water they're boiling. Uh, so, yeah, um, I, I, I really think that that is, uh, is, is a cap to this series. If something else does come up that happens to be along the same lines of fuel safety, then I will include it into the same fuel safety series. And I hope that this has been uh, edu both educational and eye-opening to uh, those of you that have watched this series. And I've had a number of people come and tell me that, you know, they were heat users and they've stopped using it and have made the switch to uh, hand sanitizer. And, and a few people have said that they went out and spent the money on the Swiss fire gel. Uh, but, you know, like I said in my last video, the, the real economical choice here for fuel safe you know, for, for safer fuel is hand sanitizer. You know, yeah, there was a, a minute, two minutes longer boil time uh, than the Swiss fire gel. But, you know, I, I think in the very first video I said that Swiss fire gel to me seems like it burns hotter than hand sanitizer. And in this video, we have that, that evidence of proof, uh, as one could say, that, you know, the that the Swiss fire gel does have a hotter burn and and faster boil time than a hand sanitizer. And you know, obviously Esbit is always always going to be the safer the safest fuel source out there. You know, it, but you know, it is of course one of the slowest fuel s heat sources out there. Uh, you know, and then heat being heat, you know, there's a reason that heat has become crazy popular on the trail. Um, economical, fast burning, clean burning, all that good stuff. But there is a safety aspect to it. Okay, everybody, thanks a bunch again. I know I've said that two or three times, but thanks everybody for watching. You know, uh, comments, please love comments. And that's it. Thanks.